Welcome to the Life Domination Online Coaching Program. This is CJ Ortiz of cjortiz.com and metalmotivation.com. This is the first of a five-episode series on defeating the discouragement that makes you quit. Now, usually we don't put discouragement up on the top of the list of the major maladies psychologically that we all face. We tend to talk about depression. We'll talk about stress. We'll talk about anxiety or whatever else, but we don't say too much about discouragement. Yet discouragement is one of the main things that take most people either out of the race or neutralizes them to where they keep living a mediocre life while they keep complaining they want to change things. They keep saying they want to live a better life, but they remain where they are. What happens is you can never stay in neutral. By making no decision, you may have made the worst one. By making no decision is really a decision to go backwards. You can't simply remain where you are, not when you've got so much potential, so much more passion, so much more desire. Now, it may be hidden underneath your pain. It may be covered over with years of just a lack of effort. It may be covered over with hopelessness. It may be covered over with long seasons of sadness or unproductivity. You may feel bad about yourself. You may feel like you're middle-aged and you just can't get there anymore. Time has run out. You know, nature and life is against you. That's discouragement. That's what discouragement does. But you can't stay where you are. You have got to move forward. You have got to get back to the helm of your life. You've got to get back behind the steering wheel of your life and push yourself forward. But to do that, you've got to be encouraged. You've got to be enthusiastic. You've got to restore that passion, that motivation, that desire that once drove you. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is what discouragement damages. This is what discouragement is robbing you of. Discouragement. What is discouragement? It's the loss of confidence and enthusiasm for attacking life. It can be severe or it can be minor. But the longer you allow it to abide in you, the harder it is to uproot. Isn't that the nature of discouragement? The longer you let it sit, the longer you let it reside in you, the harder it is to remove. When you lose confidence and enthusiasm, when you lose that assurance, when you lose that energy, when you lose that breath, which is what enthusiasm is, when you lose that which drove you in the past, and then life pours like a wet blanket on you. Your fires are quenched. There's no longer the burning embers of passion and desire moving you forward past obstacles. Now you're stopped dead in your tracks by something you used to just run over in the past. You feel like your life has come to an end. You feel like there's no real reason for you to work as hard as you once did. You finally reason to yourself, man, you're just not like others, you know. You're just not like others who get what they want. You're this unique failure. You're this unique person who never seems to get what it is that they want. That is discouragement. And so you end up talking yourself out of your own life. You talk yourself out of it. Nobody convinces you to quit. Nobody puts a gun to your head and makes you quit. You do it yourself. You convince yourself because of discouragement. You start thinking that you're unique in your failure. And this is when discouragement really starts to take up root in you, which is why you've got to be supported by something else, and that is confidence. That is the antidote to discouragement, which is encouragement. And encouragement is when you're supported by confidence. It's when you're supported by confidence. When you have that ability to believe once again in yourself, in your potential, in your capacity, in your talent, in your ability, when you can restore that confidence, when you can restore that belief in you, that is the fuel behind encouragement. And encouragement will be the antidote to your discouragement. Because discouragement is rooted in a lack of assurance or confidence in yourself. But discouragement doesn't come in all at once, does it? It's not like you are confident and happy and encouraged all your life, and then suddenly one day you wake up and you're completely discouraged. It doesn't work that way. Discouragement doesn't come in all at once. 
It seeps into your mind slowly by the small defeats that add up to big failure and your decision to quit. Discouragement seeps in slowly by small defeats that add up over time and you let them shape your thinking. You let them transform your outlook on the world, your outlook on yourself. And soon you are talking yourself out of your own life. Soon you are convincing yourself to quit. Soon you are persuading yourself not to put out as much effort, not to work too hard. That mediocrity is something that you can live with. Go ahead, sign the contract with living a half-assed life. Sign your name on the dotted line of mediocrity. It's okay. You'll feel better that way. All the while, deep below the surface, your own conviction, your own conscience is bothering you. It tells you, no, you've got still so much more potential. You still got so much more you can live for, so much more you can do, so much more capacity that you can release. Don't you dare give up, man. Don't let discouragement defeat you. Don't let discouragement take you out of the race or convince you to quit. That's the subject of this week's series in the Life Domination online coaching program. I encourage you to join up. It's real and expensive to do so. Just visit the link below and you'll find more information about how you can be a part of this Life Domination online coaching program to get you from where you are in life to where you want to be. It's a, it's an online program. You'll work directly with me as well as several other people just like you who are subscribers. All these videos and interaction is being shown in a private Facebook group, and you and I can participate there, like I said, along with many others just as committed as you are. So visit the link below. I'd love to have you there. This is CJ, the Metal Motivator, and remember, in whatever you do, don't suck. Metal up.